So this is a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> For the longest time, I have said I don't like Terminator, specifically Terminator 2. And before y'all freak out on me in the comments, let me explain myself. A long time ago, before we ever started this channel, Anthony wanted to watch a movie and he put on Terminator 2. I was not in the mood to watch an action movie at the time. I also had never seen the first Terminator movie. I still haven't seen the first Terminator movie. And we watched it and I just remember the feelings of being bored and just I mean like that's what everybody hypes up so much and I kind of just stuck with that for the rest of my life and in all honesty I really don't remember much of the movie at all and it's like one of those things that you say it and then it becomes a thing and then you feel the need to stick to it but y'all I'm ready to admit if I'm wrong so I'm gonna give it another chance I'm gonna watch the first one though this time because I feel like you need to see the first one probably to appreciate the second one even more so I mean it just makes sense I don't really have anything to base that off of I'm just assuming just based on movie logic. We're gonna watch both of these movies, same video right here, right now. And if I enjoy them, I will happily admit I was wrong and I will become a fan of Terminator. Watch me still not like them. <laughs> oh <my> gosh. <laughs> I kind of have a feeling I'm probably gonna end up liking them. When I first watched it all those years ago, I don't think I had as much of an appreciation for movies as I do now. I've watched so many more movies since then, especially because of this channel. I kind of view movies through a different lens. I've grown a huge appreciation for 80s action films in particular. So I feel like this is gonna be a video where I eat my words and I'm... <laughs> We're gonna see. You'll have to stay tuned to the end to see if I actually change my tune on how I feel about Terminator. Also, if you wanna watch both of these movies with me from beginning to end, full length reaction, where you sync up your copy of the movie with my reaction, you can check them out on Patreon and the link is down below. LA 2029. Funny that that's only a couple years away from now. 1984, okay. So we're back in the past. What's going on? Also, why is the garbage getting picked up so late at night? Is that Arnold? Whoa. This music is like stressing me out a little bit. Nice night for a walk. Nothing clean, right? Is he like a robot? I just like don't freaking remember anything from the second one, really. I'm pretty sure he has robot insides, I think. I don't really remember if he's like human at all or what. He's like zapping into places. <laughs> oh wait, that is not Arnold's back. So who is this then? Is he like similar to Arnold Schwarzenegger's character? What day is it? What year? Is there like time travel element? Is that what they're doing when they're zapping the lightning? I don't look suspicious in my trench coat. Sarah Connor, I know that name. Trying to like rack my brain of what I know about her character. All I know is she wears a tank top and she has like really nice looking shoulders. Doesn't she have a son at some point? Oh, his theme song is like spooky. Phased plasma rifle in the 40 watt range. Plasma? <laughs> Why are you loading it right now? Woo! Oh my gosh! Okay, what is going on here? Like, what, with these two? Like, I feel like they're connected. Like, do they come from the same place? But he doesn't look robotic like the other one. I don't care what you're doing. Come and get me. What the oh my gosh. You got a serious attitude problem. He doesn't have social skills. Is it gonna say Sarah freaking Connor? <gasps> but why her in particular? Like, how does she go from waitress to tank top with the crazy looking shoulders? Oh, kill don't kill the dog. Don't kill the little dog. Sarah Connor. Wait, what? I'm confused. Was that like another Sarah Connor? Sarah Connor, 35, mother of two, brutally shot to death in her home this afternoon. Oh my gosh. And then run my tongue down your neck to your bare, gleaming breath. So is this how she has a son? <laughs> hey, can I talk to Ginger, please? Oh, it's the other one. <laughs> That's awkward. Dead girl, too. Sent over from the Valley Division this afternoon. There was another one. I'm sure there's a point to all of this. Is it another Sarah Connor? Sarah Louise Connor. So they're trying to kill the other one probably, right? Oh, his soundtrack, that's how you know he's coming. Okay, wait, no, he's after her now. Call her again. 
They're not going to get the message. Two hours ago, 35-year-old Sarah Ann Connor was pronounced dead at the scene in her Santa Monica apartment. Now, police are refusing to speculate on the apparent similarity. That would freak me out. Two other people with my exact name. She's putting two and two together. You better, like, I don't know, go into hiding, protect yourself. What? That sucks. Please stay on the line. <laughs> My goodness, like having to wait. She really loves listening to music at all hours. Any point during the day, she's like jamming. Even while doing the deed. <laughs> Are they gonna get killed? Don't make me bust you up, man. Oh no. Oh, she can't hear anything ever. You're gonna walk into your boyfriend being freaking murdered. Oh no. My gosh. <gasps> oh well that's really sad her friends just died oh crap you gave away your location you didn't even realize don't go outside or even to the restroom i'll have a car there in a hot minute okay oh that's freaking terrifying oh my gosh and he's already here oh watch out he'll kill you oh it just broke your hand Arnold is like really freaking intimidating in this movie. Your club soda. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, I can't tell if this is good or bad. Oh, it was a good thing. It was a good thing. You didn't see her. Dang, that freaking ginger ale saved your life. Oh, but she sees the other guy. I don't know. I'm like, it doesn't seem like he has the same kind of murderous intent as he does. They're not together, you know? Like, is he on the opposite side of whatever this is? I feel like the other guy is gonna come help her. Yeah, he's gonna help her. Oh my gosh. Wow. But he's fine, of course. So y'all are work friends or what? How do, how do we know each other? Ooh. Ooh. Come with me if you wanna live. Is that where this comes from? My goodness, he freaking dove through the flames. Are his eyebrows burnt off? Oh, <laughs> whoa. She's in shock. Oh my gosh, well, don't try to get out of the car right now. Don't move unless I say. Don't make a sound unless I say. I don't think he's gonna hurt you. He saved you. He doesn't have his lights on. I'm Reese, Sergeant Techcom, BN3. Reese! Designed to protect you. You've been targeted for termination. Oh, for termination. So is he how she has the kid? Do we sense tension here? Not a man. She terminator. So he is like a robot. Not a robot. Cyborg. Cybernetic organism. Okay, cyborg. So he has like flesh parts, but also machine parts. Terminator's an infiltration unit. Part man, part machine. I oh, it's a okay. Combat chassis. What does that mean? Very tough, but outside it's living human tissue. All right. Hair. Blood grown for the cyborgs. Grown for the cyborgs. Are you saying it's from the future? One possible future. Are there different outcomes? That Terminator is out there. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity. Does it just have its mission and that's it? And it absolutely will not stop until you are dead. Well, that sucks. <laughs> His freaking eyebrows. <laughs> No, and of course you can hear everything. There was a nuclear war a few years from now. So we're to say there was one a few years from now? Defense network computers hooked into everything. Like AI? <gasps> they gave power to the machines. A new order of intelligence. Whoa, that's crazy. And like the fact that I don't even remember any of that. Most of us were rounded up, put in camps for orderly disposal. Whoa. Spurned it by laser scan. So the machines really did take control of literally everything. That is wild. Why can't the machines just make their own machines to work? There was one man who taught us to fight. His name is John Connor. Your it, son, Sarah. Uh, 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 Your uh, son. That's the son. So they want to kill her now in the past so that she doesn't have the son in the future who wages war against the machine. Are we gonna see his metal? Ugh, yes! So mechanical. So, you're a soldier. 
Fighting for whom? You want to understand. Under Perry, from 21 to 27. They're going to think he's crazy. Skynet had to wipe out his entire existence. Skynet? Skynet's from Terminator? What are you going to do? Cut out your eye? <gasps> Ugh! Are you going to pop out your eyeball? Will it grow back or like are you just not have an eye anymore? Wow, oh he has like a little cyber eye on the inside. You can't stop him! He'll wait for you, reach down your throat and pull her fucking heart out! Oh my gosh. This is what they call body armor. Stop a 12 gauge round. So she just wears that and that's it? We got 30 cops in this building. What can a cop do against a Terminator? He just walked right on in! They're not prepared for this. I'll be back. Is that where this comes from? This phrase? <gasps> oh my gosh, he literally would be back. I mean, that's like what he said, what Reese said, right? Like, that's what he does. He won't stop until he gets her. So much for the 30 cops being here. Oh, he's gonna die. You too. It's like they don't even have a chance. Is it Reese? It's Reese. He's like the only one on your side right now. You got a first name. Kyle. I thought Reese was his first name. Oh my god. I caught one back there. She passed right through the maid. Oh, this is gonna make me puke. He looked at her. Is he gonna be the father of John? Tell me about my son. That'd be so weird if he's the father because then he like ends up working under him later. He has your eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I suppose you know who the father is. And John never said much about him. I know he dies before the war. Wait. That's not, yeah, to know he dies? I volunteered. There's a chance to meet the legend, Sarah Connor. But if he dies before the war, then it can't be you? Unless it's some weird time travel -y. ugh. Your son gave me a message to give to you. Thank you, Sarah, for your courage through the dark years. I can't help you with what you must soon face, except to say that the future is not set. Whoa. You must survive or I will never exist. Well, that's a nice message from your future son. <laughs> But that's her in the future, right? Oh, the picture of her. It really feels like he's gonna end up being his dad. I can't tell you where I am, Mom. I was told not to say. I love you too, sweetheart. Oh, he was mimicking the freaking voice. Oh my gosh, why did you do that? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Look at me, I'm shaking. Some legend. <laughs> You're just not there yet. It's fine, it's fine. You must be pretty disappointed. I'm gonna be the father of your child, and then I'm gonna serve under him, and then not know I'm the father somehow. The women in your time. Was there someone special? Oh. No. Never. Never. I mean, he didn't have time to date when he was fighting for his life. John Connor gave me a picture of you once. Oh, that was the picture that burned up. I came across time for you, Sarah. I love you. Whoa. I always have. From the picture? We're moving really quick. <gasps> it's happening! It's happening! Did that mean that John Connor knew that he was the dad somehow? And that's why he gave the picture to like plant the seed? Plant the seed? Well, he's about to plant the seed. Okay, oh, come on, come on. She has to get impregnated here, right? <laughs> Imagine knowing some other guy later down the line. That's wild. It's your boss's mom. <gasps> oh my god! He dies before the war! <gasps> That would be so freaking crazy if he like dies here. Oh no, that's like the saddest freaking thing! Kyle, come on. He's gonna try to finish the job. Oh wait, oh he's alive, he's alive still. But they said the future can change, right? Okay, I have hope, I have hope. The future's not changing, is it? Wow, how she could outrun that truck was crazy. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Stop, drop and roll, stop, drop and roll. But that's not gonna be the end of him, I don't think. So is he like gone gone? They can make another one, right? But then they'd have to make another one in the future. This whole time travel thing is confusing. Okay, where's Kyle? Where's Kyle? Oh goodness, don't just drop down and die. Don't let this be like a last little thing. We did it, Kyle. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't freaking over. This is like his true self. Those feet look like they could like fall over so easily. Like so thin and dainty. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
<gasps> oh no, is it happening? It's happening, isn't it? Why'd you have to say that the dad died before the war? That means that you got to meet your son, but you didn't know that it, oh! God. Oh wait, oh wait, he keeps living. I literally have thought he's gonna die like 10 times by now. He just keeps on chugging along. No wonder John Connor's your son. It's your ancestors. <laughs> That's my great uncle. His tiny little dainty feet. Ugh, is Kyle finally gonna die? Oh, he's gonna die. This is like really sad. They were just like perfect for each other, but just the timing wasn't right or it was perfectly right. He's gonna sacrifice himself for her. Oh wait, maybe he's gonna live. His foot. I mean, he's blown apart, but like, is he done done? Because last time we thought he was done, he like got up. Kyle, did he die? Oh no, he actually died. Oh my, what like, that is such a freaking crazy concept. Oh, of course. You didn't even give me time to grieve Kyle. How is she gonna get out of this though? <gasps> oh! Caged him in! Is it like a compactor or what is it? You're a terminated fucker. <laughs> oh, it is! It's like a hydraulic press. So does that mean he's officially done for? What happens in the second movie? That is my question. Do you get remade or is it? You have to, he has to get remade, right? But if you came from the future, then ugh, I, I can't even think about it. It's too confusing. What's most difficult for me is trying to decide what to tell you and what not to. But I guess I have a while yet before you're old enough to even understand these tapes. Whoa, isn't that what she ha was wearing in her picture? Should I tell you about your father? Boy, that's a tough one. It is a tough one. Will it affect your decision to send him here, knowing that he is your father? If you don't send Kyle, you can never be. Oh my gosh, but like he had to send him. That was the picture! Oh my gosh! So the picture that he saw of her was her already after they were together. Ah! Okay, I need to calm down. The shortest, sweetest little love story ever. He said there's a storm coming in. That storm is Terminator 2, isn't it? It's weird because he said your father died before the war. Or he said John Connor's father died before the war. And then you just slowly get the signs. And then there it, there it was. Terminator! I'm glad I went back and watched this one. Number one, because I enjoyed it. Number two, I don't really remember much about the second one at all. And I, I feel like little tiny things came back to me like, you know, like John Connor. Connor, like the name John Connor, Sarah Connor, the fact that the Terminator had like a metal body, little things like that. But other than that, I still don't know the plot line or anything or where the story goes from here. But regardless of that, I do feel like having watched this first movie, I'm gonna have a better understanding of the story probably going into it, like having seen the setup of it. I don't really know if the second one was a thing that you needed to watch the first one or not or what. I don't really know why we just went with, maybe because Anthony just wanted to watch the second one, I don't really know. But yeah, I, I liked it. I don't really know what what my past self was thinking. I mean, granted, we didn't see the one yet that I had seen in the past, so we'll have to reserve that. Reserve the judgment, ironically enough, the next one I think is called Terminator Judgment Day. A lot of people say that the second one is way better than this first one, and I like this first one. It did feel like there was a lot of setup points, though. Like, it didn't really feel like this movie was meant to be super self-contained. Like, it could be, in theory, but it really does feel like there was more to the story that we didn't get yet. Clearly, that we're gonna get in the second one. I'm still not over the fact that Kyle was the dad and they were literally together for a couple of hours and then he died. But he had to get sent back to be with her. But then the son knew that it was the dad but had to send him back anyway because he knew that he didn't ever go back and meet the mom then he would have never been born. But it, it just seems like such a tragic love story because they were kind of destined to never really have a lot of time together no matter which way you spun it. Mind boggling, but really, really cool. So it's time for Terminator 2 two it's the next day little rainy outside a little cozy let's go the survivors of the nuclear fire called the war judgment day the war against the machines every time they say war against the machines it makes me think of rage against the machine 
so many of them. None of them have the skin, though. Did they just, like, stop doing skin? The computer which controlled the machines sent two Terminators back through time. Two? The second was set to strike at John himself when he was still a child. Okay, so this is why he was a child. Resistance was able to send a lone warrior, protector for John. Who was the protector? That makes sense then how there could be another Terminator, but is it gonna have the same skin as Arnold? Like, do they all just have kind of uniform skin? Oh, here we go, he's gonna be naked. Is it gonna be Terminator or the protector? Look at that damage on that truck. There he goes, using violence at every turn. That must have hurt, oh. Oh! Anybody in his way, no matter what, like you come in front of the mission, you get taken out. Your foster parents are kind of dicks, huh? Why is he fostered? Like, where's Sarah? Not my mother, Todd. One day he's gonna be leading the rebellion. This next patient is interesting. I've been following the case for years. 29 year old female. Is she in like a psych ward? Diagnosed as acute schizoaffective delusions of persecution. Did she try to say what was going on and nobody believed her and they freaking put her away? Look, those are those shoulders! Those are those shoulders! She believes that a machine was sent back through time to kill her. Oh, they just think she's like delusional. That her? Oh, her picture. She's pretty cool, huh? No, she's a complete psycho. You don't even know! You don't even know! That's sad that he even thinks of her that way. Oh, goodness. Is that like the chip? Oh, they found that then, didn't they? Don't tell me that it coming back to the past helped it to be invented for the future. That is a wild concept. Hey, do you know this guy? Nah, I don't know. Man, there's this cop scoping for you. Check it out. But he's not just a cop. He's trying to protect you. <gasps> oh, is that a gun? Oh my goodness. I thought it was in the roses box. <gasps> get down. He told him to get down. Wait, what? What? Wait, 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 wait. Oh! Is this ha what it th I think is happening? Is happening? Oh! No way. He's the Terminator? No, but you're both the Term. Is he the protector? <laughs> that like blew my mind. What the heck? I didn't remember that at all, which is crazy. Not having known the first one, you would not get the same impact because you would like, you have this preconceived notion of what was gonna happen. And then having it just completely switched up on you like that is like mind blowing. Now don't take this the wrong way, but you are a Terminator, right? Yes. So you know, but you are a Terminator. Are you like reprogrammed? You're really real. Wow, your mom really filled you in on a lot of stuff. Good for her. Like, you recognized them and everything. Who sent you? You. You did. <laughs> you reprogrammed me to be your protector here in this time. That's really cool, honestly. What the hell is a goddamn dog barking at? <gasps> Those dogs, the dogs, they know. <gasps> it's late. Please don't make me worry. Oh my gosh, he took over the body. Oh my goodness! That is wild. They really updated their tech. No more little dainty little feet. She can shack up with anybody she can learn from so she could teach me how to be this great military leader. That's like actually really sweet though. Like she was trying to prepare him, you know, in what way she could. But that's like a lot, you know, for a kid. But it's also what you were destined to become. But still, you know, he's just a kid right now. It's crazy. I can't even wrap my head around it. This does not help our mission. Help! He's just so matter of fact. Let me go! Why the hell did you do that? Because you told me to. Like he gave you an order? I mean, you're him. He's him. You have to do what I say, huh? That's one of my mission parameters. Your older self trusted your younger self like that? Fuck you, you little dipshit. Did you call moi a dipshit? John Connor, why are you a little sassy? Ah! Ah! Oh my God! Okay, this is not helping the mission either, though. <laughs> You gotta remember, he's still a Terminator. Jesus, you're gonna kill that guy. Of course, I'm a Terminator. He terminates. Oh no. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Hope she kills you on the way out. Ah, he's on the floor. Hey, I got a full house. Must be my lucky day. Unlucky day. Oh. Oh. That's what you get. Open the door. Open the door. Wow, she got herself out of here. Get back. 
I'll pop him full of this shit, I swear! Oh my gosh, she's so freaking cool, I love her. Her character development just whoop from the last movie, but it makes sense after everything she went through in the first movie. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Oh, but, oh, but you don't know, you don't realize, you don't know, you don't know! No! Oh, she was so freaking close! Without killing, remember? Come with me if you want to live. He said that last movie too, but it was um Reese. I think it's more iconic coming from Arnold though. Whoa! He's so much more difficult because he he could just like reform. His run. Gotta listen to the way people talk. And if you want to shine them on it. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. He has a new slang. Aww. Oh my gosh. Goodness. Oh, like just to see the visual. It's one thing to hear it and then to see it. <laughs> Terrifying dreams. You said you go south with him, like your plan. She'll meet you tomorrow. Mom! Mom, wait! She didn't even say anything to him. She's just like so laser focused on the mission, but it's your son. Killing Dyson might actually prevent the war. I don't care! She's just ready to do anything pretty much at any cost. She actually gonna do it? Like she became the Terminator in this scenario. Danny. Oh my gosh! Uh, uh. She would have freaking got him, wow! Oh my gosh! Oh, I just like, I can't even believe what's going on right now. She literally is like the Terminator right here. Oh! Daddy! Um, oh! Don't hurt my daddy! Oh my gosh, and they like have no idea what's going on and like... Shut up, shut up, shut up! It's all your fault! Gosh, I'm like crying. She couldn't do it. But that's because you're a human, you're not a Terminator, and that's why you still have your humanity. <laughs> Could you try to talk to him? I mean, he probably won't believe you, but like, hey, you know what you're gonna do? Let's not. Check them. <laughs> the crazy thing though is killing him would stop the war. <laughs> this is why John's the leader and you're not. Love you, John. Aww. Oh, my heart. Who are you, people? Sean. Oh, okay. Are we going to actually just try to talk to him? Sean uses a different approach to things. Okay, yeah. Okay, so maybe if we show him, he'll actually believe. Oh, because of the arm. Yes, the arm. This is good. This is good. This is what we need. Okay, if you can see it, then you can realize don't do what you're going to do. Hey, but you know what that is? Stop freaking out. <laughs> As he just ripped off his skin in front of them, I'm like, stop freaking out. Dyson listened while the Terminator laid it all down. Is he gonna actually believe him and follow through, though? It's not every day that you find out you're responsible for three billion deaths. He seems, like, reasonable, you know? Doesn't seem like a mad scientist. You're judging me on things I haven't even done yet. Okay, but that's, like, the point, is that you would do them, though. I mean, that's like the whole thing that they're here telling you. You don't know what it's like to really create something. All you know how to create is death mm. and destruction. Mom! Rain it in, Mom. No one must follow your work. Destroy it? Chip, they keep it in a vault at Cyberdyne. It must be from the other one like you. The CPU from the first Terminator. The first Terminator movie. It gave us ideas, took us in new directions. I mean, things we would have never... Th oh, it's like the thing from the future literally taught the past how to make it. So, like, if the first Terminator wouldn't have happened, it wouldn't have happened. No, this is so confusing. It's like a paradox, honestly. I like how this kind of has, like, a heist feel to it. It's no good. Let me try mine. <laughs> Just shoot it open. Wow. Well, that'll do it. But he didn't kill any of them. This is like the closest he could get to being a pacifist. What's going on here? Something is weird. <gasps> oh my gosh, he got killed anyway. <gasps> He's gonna do it. He's gonna. Oh 
Miles. He was trying to make amends for the things he hadn't even done yet, you know? Really commendable of him. Shit, she's in the clean room. There's no way out of there. He'll get her out. He'll find a way. Oh, he made a way. I don't know how much longer I can hold this. Oh. Super! Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's so sad. I feel so bad for him. Wow. Crazy friggin' sequence of events. And like the fact that she initially was trying to kill him and then he ended up helping them and then died anyway. Stay here. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> he has so many freaking iconic quotes. I know they're from a lot of different movies, but I can never get it together which quote is from which movie. Ah! Oh, she got shot. Ah! Ooh. What? <laughs> he just rolled. The liquid nitrogen. You're getting frozen. Does that stop him from <gasps> freezing? Is that like his weakness? Oh crap, but it's getting warm again. No! Let's go. Well, that did not freaking last long. <laughs> Her freaking shoulders! I know this hurts. Call John. I feel like she would rather die. <gasps> oh! It's always this freaking eye. It's sad to see him get so beat up. I mean, I know he's a machine, but still. It's like a completely opposite reaction to how you felt about him in the first movie. <gasps> oh no. What is that it? What? Everybody John sends back dies. Is that really her? I don't know. We know that they can mimic voices. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so that one is the other one. Shoot! Yeah. Voice sounded too, like, fake. Like, John, I'm hurt, John. <laughs> you go, Sarah Connor, you go. Shoot him into the, what is that, lava pit? Whatever that is. Oh, no. No, no, no. You were so close. Don't wag your finger. Shut up. There he is, there he is. <gasps> Do it again. Oh my gosh. What the heck? You sound like a creature. <gasps> yes, boil alive. But then what happens if it cools down again? Can you throw that other stuff in there? Will this melt in there? Oh yeah, throw it. Yes, throw it in. And the chip. It's over. No. What, what no? There's one more chip. Him. And it must be destroyed also. Oh, that's like the absence of having emotion is just to be able to be like, yep, got to do this. I'm no! sorry, John. I'm sorry. Oh, John. Hey, stay with us. I have to John. No, don't do it. Please, don't go. This is how you save the future. I know now why you cry. <gasps> oh, oh, that's so sweet. Goodbye. Bye, Terminator. Well, this is freaking sad. Oh, poor John. <laughs> like everything he's went through. Oh, he did a thumbs up. Everything he's went through so young and has yet to go through. Will he go through it though if they stopped it? His future self ended something that his younger self will never have to go through. It's crazy. Because of a machine, a Terminator can learn the value of human life. Maybe we can too. Wow. Honestly, this has just been such a surreal experience. Technically, I had seen Terminator 2 before, but I don't know if I was on my phone, zoned out, or what. Because number one, I barely remembered any of it. I feel like certain elements of setting and atmosphere kind of came back to me as I was watching it, but I didn't remember any of the plot points, which is just such a bizarre feeling, honestly. And also, I wish I could send a Terminator back in time to my past self and like smack myself across the face for not <laughs> appreciating what I was watching. I do think, to my defense, a lot of it probably did have to do with the fact that I hadn't seen the first one. I feel like the first one sets up a lot and then also kind of gets you to know the characters and then care about them. 
And also the whole reveal with the, the Terminator being the protector, I guess. That whole thing, I feel like you kind of need the prior knowledge or else it really wouldn't have meant much at all. And that's probably why I didn't even remember any of it because it was just like in one ear, out the other. I'm literally just trying to understand what my thought process was. I remember feeling bored during this movie. I remember thinking that it was overrated at the time. This is such a cringe thing to say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I liked it a lot. I think Terminator 2 was definitely way better than the first one. And that's weird to say because then it sounds like the first one wasn't good, but I thought the first one was really good too. I think just in terms of character development, there was a lot more emotion to it. And then seeing Arnold's Terminator in the way he was, was just so much fun. Like seeing him go to a completely different role, but still playing kind of the same character in a way. That was really, really cool. And I really loved the interactions with John too and then also seeing Sarah Connor's character development as well and like everything she went through to make her the badass that she becomes and going back to John you know he's still a kid here but you can see the little elements that would have eventually one day and I guess an alternate timeline turned him into this rebel leader that he became but you're still seeing a young version of him like he isn't just a stoic little smart kid like he still is a kid and has a lot of kid sensibilities that kind of lead his decisions. And a lot of it is in a more emotional way, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because he still is holding on to that humanity that he has, which is maybe what makes him such a great leader in the future. And all in all, I no longer dislike Terminator. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I held on to it so long. I'm sorry if you ever heard that on one of our videos before. I really think it was one of those things that I just needed to give another chance and actually really fully pay attention, take in the story. Also, the movie movie was very visually stunning. Like obviously there were certain aspects of it you could tell were from an earlier time period, of course. I think it's definitely one of those movies that still holds up super, super well to this day, just in terms of visual effects, cinematography. I can admit when I'm wrong, okay? I'm admitting I was wrong. Terminator is good, especially Terminator 2. Terminator 2 is really, really good. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>